Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we're going to take a look at Paul Dillette. He is the taller, larger gentleman here in this comparison. Kevin Lavroni is listed at about 5'9", 5'10", so it's close to 6 feet tall, guys. And Paul Dillette, listed at 6 feet 1 inch, and if you've ever gone through Paul Dillette's picture gallery, of course, that one, it was definitely being out-angled. This one here, a legit standing next to Sonny Schmidt, who is 5'10", 5'11", pretty near six feet tall. If you've ever wondered why Paul Dillette looks, well, questionably taller than he is listed, it is because he is legitimately six feet three inches, guys. Now, I'm not just guessing this. He was on a recent interview on Generation Iron, and he claimed that he lied about his height. He did not want anybody to know actually how tall he was. He said he was six feet, six feet one, but really he was six feet three inches. And at the end of the day, guys, you're going to have to believe what you want to believe, but go through his picture galleries. I'm telling you right now, it all makes sense. This is Nasser Elson body, a legit, you know, 5'10", 5'11". He was as tall as Dorian Yates. And speaking of Dorian Yates, he was also dwarfing that man, a man that was legitimately near six feet tall. I mean, this does not look like a six foot one person standing next to him. Paul DeLette would legitimately look down at all of his opponents. And when I heard that news, I was almost refreshed because it never really made sense how tall Paul Dillette really was. Now a six feet three measurement, now that definitely makes a whole lot of sense. Now here he is, now this is proof positive guys. This is Charles Claremont. He is six feet one, six feet, six feet one. He's the height of Paul Dillette, supposedly. And clearly guys, Paul Dillette, the taller man in this comparison. And if you'll recall, Back in 1993, Paul had the privilege to stand next to 6 feet 5 inch Lou Ferrigno. And I'm sure I'll have some people messaging or commenting saying Lou is only 6 feet 4 3 quarters. Well, he was pretty much 6 feet 5 inches, guys. And you can clearly see Dorian Yates, the smaller man. He's about 5'10 and a half, as he'll claim or he'll say. And it makes much more sense, much more sense that Paul Dillette is two inches shorter than Lou Ferrigno rather than a whole five inches. I mean, come on, guys. So like I said, you will believe what you want to believe, and that is life. But this makes so much more sense when you see pieces of information or hear pieces of information like that, and you check it out. It seems to be true. I believe it. Plus, plus. Paul Dillette, he's a Canadian. We don't lie, eh? Well, that's not totally true. We do sometimes. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this enlightening video. Paul Dillette, he had some crazy measurements when you think about it. I believe he had a 27-inch waist. 27 inches. Are you kidding me? That's my size. Anyway, guys, 6 feet 3 inches. That's what I'm going to be listing, Paul Dillette from now on as in my videos so get used to it and that's what i believe hit thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you have not already follow me on instagram have a great day